Hi guys, let's talk about bow wood today. As a forester and woodworking lover, I'm especially excited about this topic. I'm gonna present you my personal list of the top 7 bow woods. Working on the list I was taking into account such aspects as bow making potential, availability, skills that wood requires and this look. I've made similar video over a year ago, but my point of view has slightly changed. Before we start, let me emphasize that this is my own subjective list, based mainly on my experience. Yours can be completely different depending on place where you live and woods you can get there. Also I have to say that placing them in order was tough not to crack, and they are close to each other. Each of these species is great at its own way. What's important, I'm presenting only these that I've worked with. So let's get into it. Number 7. Sycamore Maple Medium-sized tree developing usually pretty straight-grained wood. It's lightly colored, sometimes almost white. The wood isn't that spectacular, but the bows made from it are really effective. It's suitable for flat bows, but can make also those with narrow profile and rounded belly. Carefully tillered, can take not much set and make a dependable weapon. It's not very common and might be problematic to source. Number 6. Hazel it's being classified as a shrub or small tree. It develops many thin trunks growing side by side. I like to call it great beginner wood. It's not very thick, so it doesn't need a lot of work to get the bow out of it. Moreover, while it's alert, it can make quite efficient weapon. It can be easily worked down with hand tools. Proper design for the species is long and flat bow as under higher stress it tends to struggle with compression issues. This shrub is pretty common and shouldn't be a problem to source. What's worth mentioning, its thin shoots are excellent material for arrow shafts making. Number 5. Ash It grows in form of quite big tree. It was proven to be popular wood among the bowyers in middle ages in Europe. Ash develops light colored wood with distinct growth rings. It also develops hardwood that is characterized by similar properties like sapwood. Ash wood is recommended to be built into long and flat bows, as these tend to have compression issues. Nevertheless, once they are overcame, ash wood can give fast and sweet bows. To avoid set, wide limbs are a good choice. It can be bent with the use of heat. Watch out for especially thin ringed ash. Bows made from such wood tends to explode. Such a brittle wood is developed by trees suffering from fungus and diseases in latest years. Ash wood works great heat treated. Number 4. Red Oak Big tree being an invasive species here in Europe. Its hardwood that is being used in bow making is darker, reddish like colored. What's more, it tends to be straight and extremely nicely grained. It makes the whole process easier especially for beginners. It's easy bendable with use of heat, even to aggressive shapes. It makes smooth shooting and durable bows. The best design for red oak seems to be long and flat bow. Nevertheless, it can be successfully built into more advanced designs. I've made a few aggressive recruits from it, one of them have even won bow of the month prize in Primitive Archer magazine. By some, it might seem to be overrated by me, but I just love this wood. Number 3. Black Locust Small tree developing wood that is looking similar to Osage Orange. It's yellow to gold colored with some darker tones. Black Locust tends to develop snaky and twisted trunks, so it takes some selection to get proper piece. Also it takes some skills to clear it without compression cracks, as it's pretty sensitive to all flows of bending profile. That's why this wood is a great teacher when it comes to tillering. Anyway, once we'll overcome the compression issues with proper design, it makes just excellent weapons. Well tillered, it takes almost no set. What's worth mentioning, it likes to be heat treated. To summarize, perhaps it's not the best starting bow wood, but once the bowyer feels more confident with his skills, he can make great pieces from black locust. Number 2. Osage Orange Small or medium sized tree with orange like fruits. By many, it's considered the king of the boats. No doubts, it has enormous potential. What's more, 
is hard to that use, it's wonderfully gold colored. It requires a bit of experience as it often comes with a bit of character. It tends to develop snaky and sometimes also knotty wood. Osage orange is excellent material for all kinds of bows. It can take a lot and deal with stressful designs. Also it can be bent even into aggressive recourse. Number 1. You. Legendary species growing as a small tree or shrub. Under king of bowwoods here on my list. Its tension resistant sapwood combined with able to deal with compression hardwood makes it natural laminate. Great for all kinds of bows, flat bows, long bows, recurves and war bows. On the other hand it tends to develop wood with many knots and very thin grain. Therefore I wouldn't recommend it to the beginners as it might be quite challenging. Anyway, despite those imperfections it can make durable, breathtaking, full of character and efficient bows. It might be difficult to source due to being under protection. It's a very slowly growing and rape tree. And let me emphasize here, it should be harvested only legally and ethically. This legendary species is almost extinct in Europe, being widely used for warfare purposes ages ago. Especially as bowyers, we should respect nature. And what are your favorite bowwoods? I'd love to see them in the comments. Also, if you like my work, please visit my store and page, dreamcraftbows.com. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.